every spring, the Nautique Wake Games, presented by Rockstar, signals the official start of the King of Wake series. Professional and amateur wakeboarders from around the world travel to Orlando, Florida to showcase their skills in one of the most unique team challenges in the sport. Not only will riders test their skills off the wake of the fabled G23 towboat, but they will also attack crazy features in a brand new wake park showdown. Heaps of high flying tricks and innovative rail riding is about to go down. It's the 2013 Nautique Wake Games presented by Rockstar Energy Drink. Welcome everybody to sunny Florida. This is the 2013 Naughty Weight Games presented by Rockstar Energy Drink. I'm Will Christian and I'm hanging out now with Carl Rattray, Rockstar and Naughty team rider. Now Carl, this is going to be an amazing season. We've got new venues, mm -hmm. we've got new tricks, new riders. Tell me about it. Yeah, this season's going to be great. Uh, first off, this year we're going to three new locations. We're going to North Carolina, Michigan and California. There's also a few kids that have moved up this year from junior men, so it's going to be cool to see these kids come up and battle. And this is a very unique event, isn't it? It obviously mm -hmm. kicks off the season, but it's a team event, so all the riders are actually accumulating points for a team champion yeah. as well. But I know it's very special for you because of the tow boat. And this tournament is towed by the G23, and this boat's awesome to ride behind. I know everyone looks forward to this weekend because the wake's so big. Last year, there was some history made behind this boat. Two 1080s were landed, so I know the guy's been working hard in the offseason, so I'm sure that something cool is going to go down again this weekend. Now, having worked that hard, is there a lot of pressure with this being the first contest of the season? Uh, I'm sure pressure for some guys, but it's more just about shaking the cobwebs off for everybody, getting that first run sort of out of the way, get dealing with your nerves and getting one under your belt, and then you know moving on with the weekend. Well, good luck with it all, Carl. Thanks so much for joining yeah, for sure. us. We're excited to watch those guys ride, but now we're going to check in with some of the young talent in wakeboarding. It's time for the Overton's Junior Pro Men Series. Here we are in Orlando, Florida at the Wake Games. Junior Pro Men Finals about to set off. We've got myself, Tony Iconi, Jason Sovin, and Massey Pipperetti. Everyone's been killing it the whole weekend, and I think it's going to be an awesome final. The Overton's Junior Pro Men's Series consists of up-and-coming amateurs ages 14 to 18 training to turn pro. Florida's Jason Sovin and Italy's Massi Pifferetti start things off with a couple of difficult mobs and perfect spins. Massi is able to land this Moby Dick 540 in his run and a giant tail glide off the double up. So glad that I made it to finals today at Way Games and such an awesome event. And uh, hopefully this is going to be a good result for the Overton's uh, overall title. Tony Iacconi has been riding year-round, competing at home in Australia during the winter. His extra time on the water shows here as Tony stomps two Moe 540s and this unique tail grab front to blind. Is that front to blind? The final rider in the heat, 15-year-old Noel Flegel, has emerged as an all-around powerhouse, both on rails and in spins. Here in the final, Noel lands both a toe side 900, a heel side 720, and a perfect heel side 900 off the double up to win the first contest of the year. Yeah, it's my first time winning weight games. This is my fifth year here, so I'm super pumped to finally win it. Hopefully we can keep the ball rolling for the rest of the season. All right, we're here at the finals of the wake skating at the Aeronautique Wake Games. Sun's out, guns out. We're rocking, man. A little windy, but we're going to ride that wind to the top. Danny Hampson, Brian Grubb, Grant Roberts and Reed Hansen make up our wake skate final. These guys perform skateboarding inspired tricks on a wakeboard that is not attached to their feet. California's Grant Roberts and Florida's Brian Grubb are first to ride and both fall victim to some nasty wind gusts while trying to land their more difficult 360 spins. 
Yeah, no, it was a little windy and like it was, it was like a little rolly and I just couldn't really stay on my board. So it's always a little frustrating. But like I said, I'm just psyched to be here on Sunday. It's just insane. A showdown is in place between Danny Hampson from the Florida Keys and returning event champion Reed Hansen. Reed has a stellar second pass landing, multiple 360s, and a wake to wake big spin. Danny Hampson answers Reed's challenge with a lofty wake to wake big spin, then packs five tricks into his second pass. Enough to secure himself the victory here at Wake Games. Reed Hansen comes in second place, Grant Roberts in third. I just want to thank my friends and God, all my sponsors. Oakley, Obscura, DVS, Roswell, Yama. Oh. <laughs> Up next on Nautique Weight Games, presented by Rockstar Energy Drink, rookie sensation Mike Dowdy invites us out on his favorite ride, the Nautique G23. And then it's time for the ladies to hit the water for their first final of the 2013 season. Lots of action in store, stay with us. The 2013 Weight Games are brought to you by Nautique Boats. Rockstar Energy Drink, party like a rock star. And by Overton's.com, King of Wake's official water sports supplier. What's going on here? You want the long or the short answer? Long, I guess. Chevy's having a great deal on the 2013 Silverado, but you better hurry because we don't want to see a grown man cry spectacular. What's the short answer? Nice. The Chevy Memorial Day Sale. During the Chevy Memorial Day Sale, current Chevy owners trade up to this 2013 Chevy Silverado All-Star Edition with a total value of $92.50. Plus, get America's best pickup coverage, including two years of scheduled maintenance. Tonight. It's been physical. It's been nasty. Oh, my. It's do or die. Anderson with a shot. Score! Ben went around it. Fred Hudson. Score! Red Wings. Fires a shot. Save. Rebound. Score! Blackhawks. Caves in front. Scramble. Score! Game 7. Tonight, 7 Eastern on the NBC Sports Network. Because it's the Cup. And 13 Naughty Weight Games presented by Rockstar Energy Drink. Now, one of the biggest stars here this weekend, turning heads at Orlando Water Sports Complex, is the tow boat, the all new Nautique G23. And here to tell us what all the hype is about is Nautique's newest team member, Mike Dowdy. What's up, everyone? Mike Dowdy here with the boat two years in the making, the all new Super Aeronautique G23. When the G23 first came out, it blew everyone's minds because of its accessible features and huge wake. This boat has a brand new hull and 2,800 pounds of sub-floor ballast. It also seats 16 people comfortably, which is a party. My favorite feature of the G23 is the flip-up seat that folds into the stern, which allows riders to easily be seen from the people in the boat. The 
its cockpit has also been redesigned with better driver comfort and visibility, and it still includes the Link system, which controls everything from performance to ballast, GPS tracking, and the stereo. A common question I've been getting is, Mike, when you turned pro, why did you decide you wanted to ride for Nautique? Well, I knew that I needed a boat that was going to help me take wakeboarding to the next level, and when I rode behind a G23, I knew this was the boat. Head over to Nautique.com and learn more about the Nautique G23, watch footage of the best team in wake, and design your very own G23. Nautique team rider Ramy Merritt joins me now before the Pro Women's Final gets underway. Ramy, competition this year, unbelievable. The girls are riding great. Tell me who's your favorite here to take this contest. Well, Beck Gange is here. This is her first time um, riding our Pro Tour here, and um, this is her first competition of the season. So it's going to be interesting to see what she's going to throw down. And Amber Wing's riding awesome, and Dallas Friday's back, and she's riding stronger than ever. Tough competition, as always. All the other girls are down on the dock, Ramy, so I'll let you get down there now. It's time for the Pro Women's Final to get underway. Six pro riders make up the pro women's final. Ramey Merritt, Taylor McCullough, Nicola Butler, <laughs> Dallas Friday, Amber Wing, and Melissa Marquette. Taylor and Amber ride first here in the final and both land some difficult inverts, but also have some falls in their runs due to the windy afternoon conditions. California's Melissa Marquette has a great run. She's solid on the rails, lands a wrap roll to blind, and this difficult nose grab 540. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about my run. It's pretty windy out there, so stood up for the most part, fell on one trick, and uh, yeah, it felt good. Crowd favorite Dallas Friday is back on tour full time in 2013 after recovering from an injury and is riding stronger than ever. Here at Wake Games, Dallas stands up two passes and is excited about her performance. I couldn't be in a happier place right now. You know, I just feel so blessed to just be able to ride and continue doing what I love for a living. And, you know, everything's coming together and it's an all-new chapter. The battle for the top spot goes down between two powerhouses, Nicola Butler from England and Ramey Merritt from Florida. Ramey lays down a stellar run, looking stylish on the rails and launching her signature S-Bend. Ramey ups the ante with a beautiful nose grab 540 and roll the blind. Now it's up to Nicola Butler to answer the challenge. Nicola comes out firing with back-to-back -back 540s, then a heel side Moby Dick. For an exclamation point, Nicola sticks a beautiful whirly bird, and that is a winning run here at Wake Games. Nicola tops the pro women's podium, followed by Ramey Merritt in second. Dallas Friday comes in third. It feels really good to uh, come into the first tour stop and take the win. That really kind of sets the pace for the rest of the season. Uh, I think it's going to be a great year. Still to come, we catch up with legendary wakeboarder Sean Murray before an all-star jam goes down off the kicker and in the wake park. Stay right where you are. T-Mobile presents The Simple Choice. With T-Mobile, I can walk out with the new Samsung Galaxy S4 for way less than at AT&T. We have a big family. T-Mobile. Awesome. Well, now we'll all have the coolest phones in school. It almost makes up for the social stigma of living Michael. in a shoe. We live in a shoe. Choose to spend less upfront at activation for your new Samsung Galaxy S4 at T-Mobile. Formula One Racing on the NBC Sports Network. It's the Memorial Day sale from ADT. Right now, you can get ADT installed in your home starting at just $49. 
a savings of $250. Plus save 15% on any accessories. Sale ends soon. Don't wait. Call right now or visit ADT.com. This is a fire that didn't destroy a home. This is a break-in that didn't devastate a family. This is the reason why. ADT. You can't predict when bad things will happen, but you can help protect yourself with the fast alarm response of ADT. With 24-7 monitoring against burglary, fire, and high levels of carbon monoxide, starting at just over a dollar a day, this is the computer that didn't get stolen, keeping priceless photos and financial records safe. This is the reason why. Take advantage of ADT's Memorial Day sale, starting at $49 installed, plus 15% off accessories. ADT. Always there. Savings end May 31st at midnight. Four Seasons Sunrooms, Windows and Additions introduces the stunning new 2013 Legia Sunroom Edition. Incredibly energy efficient with a unique and elegant new design that will take sunroom living to a whole new level. And during our 2013 model introduction, you can still save up to 35% off the 2013 Hampton Room or Hybrid Rooms. Book your appointment online and get a $1,500 factory rebate and lock in your pricing that's guaranteed until 2014. Call Four Seasons now and save today. back at the 2013 Naughty Weight Games presented by Rockstar Energy Drink and I'm lucky enough to be hanging out with a true legend of the sport, Mr. Sean Murray. Sean, thank you so much for joining me. We've got two big events coming up. We're right here in front of Action Park at OWC. We've got the Polaroid Big Air Kicker Contest and we have the Naughty Rockstar Weight Park Contest presented by Polaroid. Tell me what we're going to see here. Well, the cool thing is, is not only do we have one of the biggest, baddest boats with the most amazing wake in the industry here towing an awesome event, the Wake Games, but we're incorporating the Wake Park. And what this is, is this is cable riding. And cable is where you've got this wire going around the lake, towing the riders, not the boat, and allows us to really bring a new part of the sport, uh, all these apparatus from kickers, rails, and you're gonna see things like double flips, 1080s, crazy grabs, presses. Guys are gonna be riding different boards here, flex boards, that allow the rider to go and press, showing some mad style. Well, I know the crowd cannot wait to get this underway. A lot of them haven't seen cable contests before, so we're gonna head straight down to the dock now and check out the action. and Rockstar Wake Park Shootout presented by Polaroid Action. We are live and in style right here at the Orlando Water Sports Complex and we're coming at you with some of the top riders in the Wake Park world, in the world of cable riding. Yeah, Nautique taking over the OWC. It's pretty cool to see uh, the cable aspect of this sport is really big right now, you know, and uh, we're all one big happy family. Some of the guys to watch out for, we've already seen on the water a little earlier, uh, Dirty Mike Dowdy, one of the most insane boat riders. This kid's got it on the cable as well. The one and only Shane Danger Bonifay out there crushing rails throughout today's event. Bob Sovin, Raf Jerome in heat number four, guys. Daniel Power, Shannon World, all those guys just crushing it. Yeah, it's awesome. There's so many good riders out there, and um, I look up to pretty much every one of them. So to be on the dock and riding with them, and uh, glad to miss my flight. Uh, the Cable Park Contest is awesome. It's um, it's pretty crazy. I actually didn't expect it to be so serious or anything. and kind of just signed up, not really knowing what I got myself into. And I don't know, it was, I think it was a lot more relaxing riding, not knowing that it was like 10 Gs up. All the riders in the finals just killed it. Mitch, Raph, everyone that rode in the finals was just on point and I was stoked to come out in second. Pretty much my main cable park, like my home cable park, whatever. Uh, I'm used to it more, and uh, super stoked to get first place. And uh, I guess it's a really good start to the season, so cool. 
All right, so we got some riders on the water. The Polaroid action, big air kicker contest. That's gonna be going on right here in front of the stage of rage. Give it up right now. This is not TT rider, Jim Lurich. Back size 720. And unfortunately, not able to ride away from that one. So Jim was the first rider. He went for a back seven first, kind of got pulled out a little bit, and uh, I think it has to do with the head when it's blowing pretty hard. And then Rusty's getting ready to ride, and uh, I know Rusty always does really well at this event and fun to watch, so we'll see what we uh, get out of him here. Make some noise for him as he comes on in, folks. This is Rusty Malinowski. Whoa! Rusty Malinowski getting hung up right there. And here we go, Chad lining it up. Heel side approach, boost. Yeah, but a 40 feet pass. Give it up for Chad Sharp, the biggest Indy Glides in the game. That's a And the Dean Smith fans are in full effect right now as he gets ready to come in for the final big air kicker jump of the weekend. The big heel side cut in, a ton of speed. One, two, there it is, the back side, 720 from Dino Smith. Gotta love it, Dano, that backside seven, so large. And absolutely crushing it on the landing, powering those legs through. Rockstar Royce, Dean Ryder, Dino So we just finished the big air kicker contest and uh, I'm pumped. Looks like I got out there, I got the backside seven, took me two goes and uh, it's all good times. Coming up is the event everybody's been waiting for. The first pro men's final of the 2013 season goes down here in Orlando behind the massive G23 wake. Who will come out swing in this first event? Stay right there. The 2013 Wake Games are brought to you by Nautique Boats. Polaroid Action, the official action camera of the King of Wake. And by Fox Wake. We live. Introducing all-you-could-eat wings every night only at Golden Corral. It's endless buffalo wings, Tennessee barbecue wings, and much, much more. It's all part of our endless dinner buffet, still for one amazingly low price, and it's only at Golden Corral. No matter what, people can count on me to get the job done. So when my prostate cancer returned, my doctor told me that this time can be different with Provenge. A personalized treatment that lets me count on my own body to fight back. Provenge is clinically proven to help extend life in certain men with advanced prostate cancer by taking your own blood cells and reprogramming them to jumpstart your immune system so it can attack your prostate cancer. Provenge can cause serious reactions, including those resulting from the infusion and stroke. Severe but infrequent infusion reactions include chills, fever, fatigue, weakness, breathing difficulties like shortness of breath, decreased oxygen and wheezing, dizziness, headache, high blood pressure, muscle ache, nausea, and vomiting. Tell your doctor about all of your medical problems, including heart problems, lung problems, or history of stress.